Have you ever had a hiking trail in mind, which you so badly wanted to do, that you couldn't get it out of your mind? It almost feels like it is not you who wants to hike the trail, but rather the trail wants you. This was my one year relationship with Heta Palace Trail before we eventually met. The book of the legendary Finnish hiker Jooni Laaksonen, Hiking in Finland, came in very handy, introducing to me crucial tips, rules, and quite importantly, the basics of the Finnish hiking etiquette. This was a good start for me as a foreigner coming all the way from Bulgaria. Heta Palace is the oldest hiking trail in Finland. The starting point is located about 300 kilometers above the Arctic Circle line. Mm-hmm. 
nice drink. You want some jackets? Anything? Gloves? You can drink some tea if you want. What do you smell? Supers. Supers. My favorite aroma. Ancient times.
Thank you, Puha Kiero. I'm going into the day number two. This must be the way. Now it's 560 meters elevation. Good, not cold, we are moving once you make a stop. I'm so sure. At least we have some sort of visibility and yeah. we can get some view yeah. <laughs> and 200 meters away. The view is very good. How do you feel? Very good. The weather on Better the top. Better than on the top. The weather on the top was brutal. <laughs> it was brutal. It was snowing something kind of slush, and it was super windy from all the sides. But I like a lot also this hut. A bit more spacious. Let's get rid of some more weight.
Hanukuro. It's relatively difficult to find. My back couldn't take it any longer. I think after this trip I'll be at least five centimeters shorter. So after this exhausting day, full of gorgeous, spectacular views, the landscape. It was breathtaking, it was stunning. From now on, when I close my eyes and imagine Arctic, imagine North, it's gonna be the pictures I saw today. Of course, it wasn't difficult, it wasn't demanding in terms of trail. Not much elevation, around 500 meters positive and the same negative. Plenty two kilometers or so but uh, what smashed me particularly was again the backpack soon now we are melting here in this coziness in this huge atmosphere Nadi made uh, vegetable soup we drank like one liter of tea already sauna is ready can you imagine sauna in the middle of at the Powell's Trail, in the middle of nowhere. What we have here is uh, onion soup with fresh zucchini. This is going to be our starter, not to be too full for the sauna. And, and then, as a main course, we're gonna have tomato pasta. Is it tomato pasta? What's that? Ah, some salsa pasta. The night in Hannukuro Wilderness Hut was magical. It was beyond a mere physical experience to take sauna bath in the wild under the northern lights. Those events made me feel simultaneously insignificant and special. We were embraced by the power and the beauty of Mother Nature. 
we felt deeply grateful. This is where I slept first night with the Hekero, but the hut was here. Puvakero, mm -hmm. and this is probably the name of the fell. This is Puvakero the fell. fell. 730 meters above the sea level. <clears throat> then we had a lunch break in Sioskuru. So after the lunch break in Sioskuru, we climbed a little bit. Sio and then 
we considered sleeping in in Pahakuru. It was very beautiful, cinematic. Towards the north, the view was on all of this house. Yes, it was on quite high place, so you could have a view towards every direction. Okay, we have done 28 kilometers so far and we have 27 left. So actually when coming from Paulus direction you can easily see the hut. Mm -hmm. So we stayed there. The reservable hut is there. The sauna is somewhere there behind. So of course, 500 meters from where we had break, there is shelter. <laughs> we could have had much better break here inside. It's just enough visibility that we can see the next marking stick. And I see the fire inside. It's, yes, it's not the fire, but it's been a fire recently. I think people have left. People have left recently. That's the best thing that can happen. Yeah, you're so hot. It is so amazing to come and then the fire is on. So, we won't stay here more than 15 minutes because apparently it's not a good place to sleep. And it's getting dark. In one hour, it will be dark. Luckily, 10 minutes after that shelter, there it is, the hut. And 
then for tomorrow we're gonna have 13 kilometers left. It's a good idea to book in advance just in case. But who would have thought, like out of the season, mm. it's snowing, it was a storm yesterday, and that we're gonna end up <coughs> with a group of 20 people. So if it wasn't them, it would have been alone again. But uh, the kids were super mm. nice, super polite, everyone went in bed at something like 8, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock everyone was sleeping. Yeah, we barely managed to eat our food before they fell asleep. <laughs> yes. And then they're super polite, like we have two tables here and they said you can have this table, imagine like 20 people in that table there, one table for us and they were super mindful so I really didn't mind. <laughs> but it was interesting how unexpectedly you can end up without accommodation so now finally 13 kilometers outside is now so beautiful it's a fairy tale mm -hmm. and we have just 13 kilometers to palace ready for the day last four day We've done one marathon distance so far. Yes. Just a little bit slowish <laughs> for the marathon. <laughs> the reindeers are still there.
Thank you. 